He stopped. He stopped with. Uh, he ended with a word of uh, a health caution, which is very good. Thank you, Shedrick. Talking about wear your mask, and uh, you know that's what we want to do to stay healthy in 2022. And Clarence Duhart, who's going to join us in a couple minutes after we sh uh, show this video, has some other tips for us as well. Get ready to work out with CD Fit. Join the largest and best fitness boot camp in the D.C. area. CD Fit High Performance Training. No workout is ever the same. Designed for all fitness levels, CD Fit provides hardcore, demanding training that is also fun. CD Fit Fitness Boot Camps are available all over the DMV. CDFitDC.com. Push yourself to the peak. Right now, get an introductory two month trial for only $39. Go to CDFitDC.com to get started today. I'm tired already. <laughs> I am also. <laughs> Welcome, Clarence. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Denise. I truly appreciate it. Yeah. So um, I, I'm going to ask my big question later, but I want to start off just, just asking you, you know, this is the time of year when folks start making these resolutions and talking about, you know, what they're going to do. They're going to lose weight. T give us the proper approach. To, to being physically healthy, what is it? What's the proper approach? Well, you know, there's there's never really one way to achieve any goal. Um, one of the things I, I tell everyone is that when you're starting any type of exercise program, or you have a goal to start any type of exercise program, is just get started. You know, what a lot of people make the mistake as that they want to wait until a certain day or wait until uh, take a particular class is just to get out and get started. And what I usually tell people is to go out walking, to start walking every day. Don't procrastinate. Get out, start doing something. And then from there, don't just take the physical aspects of um, training. It's, it's important to also feed your mind. So one of the things I always do and what I recommend to a lot of my clients is to immerse yourself in motivational material. So I like to listen to audio programs or motivation because that's what's going to feed your spirit to, to help you to stay disciplined um, to go out and exercise on a regular basis. And then from there, also start educating yourself. Because what most people do is that they, they just get started, but really don't have a, a depth knowledge of what they can do and what's available to them or how to exercise properly and how to eat properly. Because you want to start reading books on nutrition, reading books on exercise, things of that nature. Because with exercise, a lot of people, well, well, most people make the mistake is that you don't have the energy to actually exercise. You know, it's good to start, but you have to make sure that you're fueling your body properly to have the energy to exercise. So you have to make sure you're sleeping properly. Uh, sleep is critical because that helps you with your hormones. It helps you to make sure your body is, re is regenerated and just has what it needs to, to get out and, and perform. Make sure that you're fueling yourselves, you know, properly with fruit, as we had that discussion earlier. <laughs> you know, fueling I'm your body. I'm not going to tell you what she's eating right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. So, you know, <laughs> that's funny. So uh, giving yourself the, the things your body needs, you know, fruit, healthy carbohydrates, healthy protein, healthy sources of fat, water, exactly, which is crucial. And so th those are the main things is, is get started right away. Um, feed your mind with motivational material like audio programs and then start reading some good books on nutrition and how to fuel your body probably to exercise. And uh, I mean, you know, you say make sure you take a walk every day. And I thought about that on Monday with that big snowstorm. Uh, would you have encouraged people? It's it's another day. Just go on out there and, and deal with it. Would that have been a good day? I mean, is that that wasn't an, uh, is that wasn't an excuse day, was it? No, that's an excellent day because snow is, is so purifying. You know, it's a, mm. it's a great way to get out and get some fresh air, which most of us don't get enough of. We need that fresh air, you know. Don't allow yourself to stay inside because it's snowing outside. You know, go out and get some fresh air. I saw a video the other day with Steve Harvey when he was out walking in the rainstorm, and it was amazing. You know, it, it makes you feel so good to get outside, get some fresh air. Go for a walk. That's if you don't know what to do. If you're a person and you're not already self-motivated and you don't know what to do, get out and just go walking because everyone can do something. You can't say that you can't walk unless you have some type of debilitating issue. And that's a whole different you know, um, uh, set of uh, uh, idea of what you need to be, you know, what you need to be doing. But 
get out and do something. And the easiest thing that anyone can ever do is just go walk. Just go walking. So how did you get into this, this, you know, this fitness um, uh, profession? Uh, what got you started, motivated, but more importantly, what got you wanting to share, you know, your, your um, uh, training with other people? Interesting you say that. Uh, well, I started exercising on a regular back in, I was, wow, back in when I was 13 years old at the Boys and Girls Club umpteen years ago. And just a way of uh, just a uh, way of making myself feel better and be stronger and things of that nature. And I just kept that habit up all the way through college. When I was at Howard, um, all of my college friends, I trained everyone, everyone for free. You know, I, I never knew there was a fitness industry. I was a mathematics major. I trained in the gym, groups of people, 5, 10, 15 people at a time for many, many, many years. So even when I when I finished school, I still continue to train people for free. All of my friends would follow me to the gym, would work out outside, go running, basketball, you know, weight training, things of that nature. Then around 1993, I had a colleague of mine by the name of Marcus Battle. Shout out to Marcus Battle. He, uh, he introduced me to the fitness in industry, and from that day forward, I just ran with it. So I've been training for about 28 years now. Mm -hmm. um, worked at all the major health clubs, um, Bally Total Fitness, for those who remember Washington Sports Club, things of that nature. I remember Bally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. And I just had a serious love for helping people and, and fitness itself and having fun and uh, using what God had gave me to pass on to other people. So I just ran with it from there. I started my company back in 2009, fit, uh, CD Fit which is primarily an outdoor fitness boot camp. Our primary goal is to help people to develop the habits of daily rigorous exercise and help them to become the best athlete that they can possibly become. So I try to incorporate athletic type training uh, modules and help people to develop that mindset of being an athlete wherever you are. If you're a couch potato, you have an elite athlete, or if you're a 69 year old senior, who just wants to, you know, be prepared for, you know, taking your retirement trips around the world. We develop programs that will allow you to do that wherever you are and where, at whatever point you are in your life. Wonderful. And so where, where can people participate? I mean, where, I mean, it's cold out. Are you still doing training outdoors or how can people participate in uh, CD Fitness or CD yes, Fit? We're, we're primarily an outdoor training program, which is actually mm -hmm. very important now dealing with, you know, this pandemic that we have right now. We're primarily outdoors most of the year, uh, morning and evening classes. During the winter, we typically uh, use indoor facilities, school gyms, recreation facilities, things of that nature. But since the pandemic, we elected to actually keep all of our classes outside. Well, most of our classes outside. So right now we have about four locations available in Georgetown, D.C., Silver Spring, Maryland, and also Largo, Maryland. Uh, you go to our website, cdfitdc.com. You can learn more about our program, our success stories. We offer a one-month free trial. So, you know, that way we're really committed to actually helping people. So we're willing to actually allow people to come out Try it out for a month for free. There's no obligation. Uh, we also offer a two-month trial through Groupon for those who want an extended trial. And then from there, you can also join on with the program as an actual member. Uh, we offer nutritional guidance. Um, we teach people how to train properly, use proper you know, exercise modalities, uh, helping them to prevent injuries, things of that nature. And I'm big on education because that's the key, is to make sure that you're exercising properly and also help you to uh, get the most out of your exercise program. And the other thing, too, um, Clarence, that a lot of people think uh, because, you know, gyms are popping up in our neighborhoods now much more so than they did than they were. I mean, Bally's was one thing. Now we've got, yeah. you know, others that are everywhere. everywhere. Costs are reasonable, um, uh, affordable. Let me put it that way. But do you need a gym to become fit? No, you, you don't need a gym. Gyms are great. Don't get me wrong. I, I love gyms. I do a little bit of everything, you know, gyms, yoga programs, outdoor, but you do not actually need a gym. You know, mm -hmm. I tell people, like I said, the easiest thing you can do is to go walk. Is just go walking every day. Listen to audio programs on motivation, you know, programs like from Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins, things that's going to really inspire you. And then from there, start educating yourself on what's available to you. So, you know, from walking, then you can maybe start jogging. From jogging, you can maybe then start uh, riding a bike. Um, then if you want to go to a gym, 
you can do that if you want to. You know, you can do some yoga, do, you know, hit a gym, do some weight room, do some classes, things of that nature. But it's up, to, it's up to you, you know, how far you want to go with that. But the most important thing is to get started and to get started today, not tomorrow, not next week, but today, you know, and then from. Wow. Uh, I hope uh, he, he comes back because uh, we have a couple of minutes left. But I, I oh, there you go. There you there go. Because I mean, yeah. I was going to say we couldn't have ended if we had to end there on a on a better note, when which is just. Daggone it. Start it today. Start today. <laughs> Start today. Exactly. Clarence, thank you so much for being with us and for sharing this. And we put the information up about how people can find you. Uh, we hope that folks will, um, you know, not just take the new year as an opportunity to, uh, you know, to focus on fitness, but, you know, to take just this stage in your life, you know, and you, and I like the fact that you said, you know, from, from young people to, I don't know if you used over the hill or no, I didn't whatever. use that. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me in trouble with you. I mean, I, I mean, well, you know, when you said that, I felt welcomed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I want I want to thank you. I want to thank you so much for being with us. And um I, I gotta do this. Let me uh I'm sorry. Yeah, from me, no surprise. Yeah, you know, you know, you know the person that said she was what, allergic to fruit, right? Yeah, so, so this, Except this for watermelon candy. This is what she's been eating: leftover Christmas candy during your fitness conversation. So I think she's going to be giving you a call. Yes, she, she needs should. To start today. Uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Thanks a lot for being with us. Have a happy New Year, and uh, you know, thanks for doing what you do to to keep our communities in shape. Uh, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. All righty. Have a good one. I'm sorry, Chevy. I had to do that. I just did. I know that was bad, but you know, hey, uh, who knows what folks are doing while we're watching, while they're watching the show. Hopefully they're watching the show, but we hope you're also maybe, you know, lifting your weights or lifting your, your uh, legs or something, you know, just, just like you said, start today. So having said that, I want to thank you all so much for being with us for this edition of Win TV. We will be back next Friday. Um, uh, we do have a new edition of What's Going On DC that's coming up next. And uh, pretty soon we're going to have Sounds of the DMV coming back as well. So uh, don't go away. Just keep watching. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Have a super safe weekend.